Welcome back to Fool and Yo. I'm Patrick. And I'm Kumar. Today's agenda includes information on joining the track team, Governor's Cup, and Saturday School. Stay tuned. Eighth grader Christian Sprout placed second in the science portion of the Governor's Cup assessment. On January 25th, the high school academic team will be going to Fulton County to participate in the Governor's Cup. With a record of 11-2, and two, the high school team has a pretty good chance of, at winning. That doesn't mean it won't be challenging. Our team will have to face off against four to five other schools. If you had detention and you missed it for any reason whatsoever and did not get, a, get approval, then you have Saturday school. Saturday school is always on Saturday. Get in touch with a teacher if you need to know if you are on the te- on the detention list. Better yet, make better choices and just do what you're supposed to do. It's not rocket science. Anyways, always make sure you, ha- you serve your de- detention. High school basketball games are just around the corner. On February 3rd, we play Halls, Tennessee at Halls. On the 7th, we ha- will have a district game against Carlisle. On February 8th, we will play Clarksburg at home. We play Dresden, Fulton County, and Graves County all in the same week of the 9th to the 15th. Please come out and support your fellow Bulldogs. Everyone get ready for the Super Bowl. This year at Super Bowl 54, the Chiefs will be facing off against the 49ers. Start going to the store and buying food for a party if you're throwing one. Some good options are hot wings or if you're just going to be more subtle, buy some sliders. It's been a hard-fought year for both these teams. We'll be back. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Hot Wings with Patrick Ray and me, the interviewer. Today I'll be asking Patrick questions, and if he gets them wrong, he has to eat a pepper. Alright, first question. Where was the Declaration of Independence, the U.S. Constitution, and the Bill of Rights stored during World War II? Oh, man, I don't even know stuff like this. It's like Fort something, Fort Knox. Yes, sir. All right, question two. How many Earths can fit inside the sun? 1.3 million or 1.3 billion? Say 1.3 billion? No. Consumer pepper. Sir. Actually, it's that bad. Third question. How many of the speeches in Shakespeare's plays were recited by women? A, 10%, B, 17%, or C, 33%? Um, I want to say 10%. No, sir. Can you serve me another pepper? Well, it's not really that bad. All right, last question, it's pretty easy. Where is Florida's capital located? Tallahassee. Yes, sir. But eat another pepper. Hey, no, I'm <laughs> done. I'm done. All right. Hey, well, we know Valentine's Day coming up. And I ain't getting my girl nothing. Man, what? I forgot. That's how much I don't care.
I guess built positive relationships with uh, most of the students in here would probably be my best part and my favorite part of teaching. Why did you get into teaching? I got into teaching to, uh, to give back, to help people. Um, originally I wanted to go to law school and I started substitute teaching and I realized that I was uh, being in the classroom was what I was meant to do and um, I finally found what, uh, what I think I'm good at. What was your favorite subject in the school and why? Actually my favorite subject in school was science and the reason why is because I liked learning new things and figuring out the way things worked. Uh, I really didn't get into history until like high school and college and that's when uh, that kind of took over as being one of my favorites. Okay. Last question for today. If you could give any advice to a student that, that has your class, what would it be? Uh, it would be to come to class prepared, to not talk while I'm talking, uh, to do their work, and to pick up after themselves. Thank you, Coach Mason, for fooling you. I'm Isaiah Kimbu. Looking for something to do? Join the track team. If you're interested, go. you can go visit Coach Flip. He spends most of the day in the AC room, but he also can be found working in the concession stands during break. Practices are usually held in the high school gym. Valentine's Day is coming up. That means you better start saving up to get your crush a gift. Teddy bears and chocolate bears are the most popular gift at the moment. You better hurry up before they run out. Yearbooks are still being sold. If you want a yearbook, you need to see Ms. Fulcher or someone on the yearbook staff. Yearbooks are being sold for $40. They are running out fast, so you better hurry up and get one. Go buy a yearbook so you can look back on some memories of you and your fellow Bulldogs. Speaking of Ms. Fulcher, the argumentative research paper final due date is coming up. The final research paper is due March 18, 2019. You have four months to complete this assignment. If you're not done, start getting to it. You can ask seniors and sophomores for help. They have done it in the past. Freshmen have to type four to five pages, and sophomores have to type five to six. And that's all we have time for, Bulldogs. I'm Patrick. And I'm Kamari. Stay classy, Fulton City.